Right, so the project we're working on is to develop a uh, drug that can be uh, absorbed orally and then can be converted to a, another drug that can then uh, bind radioactive elements in the body and help uh, hasten their elimination from the body. So if you were be, to be exposed to uh, certain types of radioactive elements following a uh, accidental exposure or a nuclear terrorism, terrorism event, such as the detonation of a dirty bomb, uh, you would be interested in getting these radioactive materials out of your body as quickly as you could because they can cause a lot of damage if they stay in your body a long time. So again, we're working on drugs that we can take orally and have them converted to an active drug in, in the body after they're absorbed. And uh, this drugs is a, the drug we're working on is belongs to a class of drugs called chelating agents and uh, the Greek word chela means claw. So if you can imagine the drug kind of being like a, shaped like a claw, where these uh, fingers have the ability to, to uh, bind this radioactive atom. And here's our radioactive atom in the body. This chelating agent will bind it. And now this whole complex uh, has the property of where it can be rapidly eliminated from the body, either through the kidneys or uh, through the intestines. So, um, so we're working on ways of properly formulating this, uh, this drug. It, it seems to have wonderful biological properties, but it has challenging pharmaceutical properties in terms of trying to make it stable, trying to develop good uh, chemical analytical methods for it, and trying to make it taste good. So it can be uh, taken by both adults and uh, pediatric patients as well. So the ultimate goal is to develop a drug that can be uh, can then be uh, ultimately tested in humans for safety. We obviously cannot test efficacy in humans because we can't contain contaminated humans. And then um, after that's been established, we hope to have this product manufactured and put in the strategic national stockpile for use in an emergency situation.